is some artists content not them as people I uh, this is my fourth time recording this video because something has gone wrong all three times and I've been doing this for an hour and it's ridiculous and I cannot let myself do this once I get more busy because then I will not want to upload anymore so I need to lock in and start making this an efficient process but anyway let me just get straight into it because I'm tired of doing this now. I go to sleep. It's 3.48 right now. A.M., not P.M. So, I think that a lot of popular ASM artists, and I'm speaking generally right now, I don't want to say that all of them or all of their content because a lot of different content is done. Um, but a lot of popular ASM artists... I don't tend to like their content very much compared to smaller content creators in the ASMR community based off of the fact that I think that it tends to feel more personal and more authentic when you're watching a smaller ASMR creator do ASMR versus a bigger named creator who is doing a lot of things that does not feel like something you would see in real life. I compared this in the past three times I've done this to McDonald's and vegetables and fruit. You know what I mean? You eat McDonald's, you feel pretty full. You know what I mean? You feel good and taste fucking amazing, but you feel full and you kind of feel lethargic. You know what I mean? <laughs> this isn't the best example, but you eat vegetables you feel like you're eating something good, you know what I mean? Mentally and physically, you feel better after you eat it. And while I'm not saying you feel bad after you watch popular big name ASMR people do ASMR, it's more just kind of feels more lab grown compared to the other type of ASMR that I like to watch better, you know what I mean? Because the type of ASMR that lower subscribe or ASMR people it's usually more along the lines of something you see in day-to-day -day life, you know what I mean? And when a popular ASM artist is doing something, it's it's literally out there, you know, it almost feels lab-grown, it feels like, because they'll do 300 triggers, okay, this, this is super exaggeration, but like 20 triggers for an hour or some shit like that, and it's like, damn, bruh, you know what I mean? I ain't never seen that before, but when I watch a video about a guy flipping through a magazine, oh, there's this one girl I watch, um, what's her name? I don't remember, but, yeah, she flips through the magazines, and, you know, a lot of times, I have no idea what she's talking about, <laughs> um, it'll be a bunch of random celebrity stuff, and I like celebrity stuff, too, you know what I mean, but, yeah, it's, it, it'll be about, uh, famous people from the 2000s, you know, these old magazines, and I feel like that's just amazing, because that's something you would really do back in the day, you know what I mean? Because they always say that ASMR originates, not originates, but, you know, when ASMRs used to, when you use a term to describe it, or you use an experience to describe it to somebody, um, they'll use, well, I personally don't relate to this, because I didn't have that much hair when I was growing up, but let's say if somebody was playing with your hair in the back of the classroom or if somebody was giving you a massage and you felt a tingly feeling that's what ASMR is but those videos with 20 different triggers doing this or doing that or you know uh, whatever thing that you're watching a big budget ASMR person doing a lot of times I feel as if it doesn't feel like something you really would have gone through at the end of the day you know what I mean and at the end of the day that's not what ASMR is, but I personally feel that it feels a lot more authentic when it is that that way when you are when it's something you really would have done back in the day there's another video I can think of where this lady um, this video that the, the person that made this kind of successful, successful now but and there's nothing wrong with being successful because I feel like I'm demonizing them a lot I'm not demonizing them and I still watch some popular creators you know I'm just saying I, this is why I tend to like less popular ones, but anyway, the, this person was adding drink mix to, to water bottles, and I really like that video because it's, it feels like something that I've, I mean, we've, a lot of us have done that when we were younger, you know what I mean, get the Lunchables, the Loaded Lunchable, that one was so good, the Loaded Lunchable with the sub, 
chips maybe and the the um the the, the kool-aid with the water bottle you know what i mean you mix that in there you know it feels great and you know it's something you really would have done and to watch this lady doing that you know she's mixing all these drinks and just explaining that you know what i mean it feels when she's not trying too hard with the whispering you know it's not some super high quality equipment it doesn't it, i'm not just talking about lo-fi asmr Exist. But, you know, anyway, um, I think that it, it just feels so much better, you know what I mean? It feels so much more authentic, it feels like something real, you know? It almost feels like you have a real connection with that person. And I really like that. And this is unrelated to the actual quality aspect, but I love being able to leave a comment, you know, and they'll actually see it. See it, they'll respond, and you can recommend them something you want to see, and it feels like an interactive thing, you know. And I think I came off a bit harsh in the title, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? But yeah, for the time recording this, I'll knock this one out very quickly because I am so tired of doing this. It's a good topic, I think, and I like the topic, and I really wish that I mean, I hope that you guys comment and with whatever your opinions are, whether you agree or disagree more than happy to respond i'd love if somebody were to disagree that'd be great it's something to talk about you know what i mean you might be able to sway my opinion you know what i'm saying so don't be afraid to disagree with me because a lot of people you know don't want to disagree sometimes with somebody you know people tend to do that but ain't nothing wrong with doing that you know what i mean disagree with me you know i, I don't have a problem with it i will not as long as you're respectful i'll be fine if you're not respectful i'm still gonna respond respond we'll see but i mean i'll still respond um but yeah go ahead and uh go ahead and leave a comment if you have any thoughts on what i had to say and thanks for the 1k views on that other video i really appreciate that that made me really happy because i honestly was questioning if it was even possible for me to get 1k views again after channel shift in my long breaks but it feels great i love seeing that um it's a lot of it's 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 motivation to keep going you know what i mean and i want to keep going for you guys because there's more people i'm gaining subscribers again i went on a probably six month stretch where i did not gain one subscriber and now i've gained about you know i'm, I'm at like 470 now you know what i mean i was at 450 something say this back in the day if you like this video like this video stop saying that <sighs> maybe, maybe i should start saying that again i don't know what you guys think but yeah that's it though I still love all my popular asmr people but i personally just like the lower budget less popular ones because it feels more real it feels like a real connection and that's really all i have to say